autistic they keep. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I'm in sales for a living, and uh, as I told a couple people before uh, I got up here tonight, one of the things that you learn early in your sales career is not to count a sale until the ink is dry, and sometimes not until the check's in the bank. And uh, so today is finally the day on the way down to Peru State that I could let myself really realize this was a, an honor. Um, so I'm very touched by that. I want to thank the selection committee. Uh, I guess you all got your checks. So. <laughs> uh, but no, I, you know, the thing about Peru State um, is really a, a crossing point in my life. And what a blessing it was for me. I feel near and dear to this college. I always will. Um, it's been a family tradition. Um, I'm going to recognize a couple people real quick. It all started in Pawnee City, Nebraska, when my mom, Arta Smith, stand up mom. Ten and a half pounds later, I came out. And they were <laughs> yeah. so, so they were looking for twins, right? And, and then the doctor said, no, I think we're done here. <laughs> she might be the toughest person in this room. <laughs> Dad Bruce Smith, who uh, was a two-sport two athlete here at Peru State College, uh, passed away two years ago, and I wish he were here tonight. I love him. Uh, so it's great to be in company. One of the very first memories I had was when I was with Dad. Uh, he was talking to the assistant football coach, or one of the coaches, and I was probably my son Isaac's age. Isaac, stand up, 10 years old, future Peru Stater, I think. He's got a good <laughs> I had a vivid memory of the old boy. I looked as my dad was talking, and I just remember it was almost like uh, Shorty Sherwood's painting. And honestly, that sticks with me till today. The last uh, week I was here as a senior, um, didn't have much to do after dinner one night, and I walked down the road from my apartment in the rain by myself, and I stopped in almost the same spot. And it kind of dawned on me that was the same, uh, probably the same spot I was looking at. Anyway, trying to get through that. Uh, my brother Jeff Smith and his son Connor, you guys stand up real quick. Uh, so Jeff, I go, I go to Jeff one day and he says, you know, you kind of at a place where you don't know where you want to finish your college career. Why don't you come down to Peru State? Maybe you can play basketball. Jeff was assistant coach with John Gibbs. And I said, you know, it's a great idea. So he brought me down and talked to Tom Shea, uh, the football coach, John Gibbs, the basketball coach. Got a little scholarship money for both because they felt bad for me. And, and uh, so I played one year of basketball. Jeff is the assistant coach, which I can tell you, I've got stories that will last a lifetime on some of those road trips. Anyway, um, he was a great mentor for me and stepped in uh, when I needed some guidance. And uh, so it's been, like I said, it's a family affair for us. I know mom went to school here as well. Uh, Chandler, my daughter, or our daughter, Chandler, will you stand up? And Keaton, our little five-year-old kindergartner, she's about ready to go to the pool at the lead center where we're staying tonight, so <laughs> I'm running out of gas here, or running out of time, but uh, uh, thank you for being here as well. Uh, like I said, Tom Shea was a great influence on me as well. Um, some of you may or may not know this, but Coach Mazursky was my high school football coach, so I'm honored to be in the same class with Coach Mazursky. He's a great mentor for me as well, so that's a neat deal. And uh, Cornelius and I, uh, I can tell you for a fact, one of the hardest hitting football players I've ever played with. I, I mean, I don't know that two people loved hitting as much as he and I did. I, I mean, I loved it. And, and when Cornelius said lick a hit on somebody, it used to just jazz me up for the next time. I, I mean, I still remember it. It's great. It's great. So, um, uh, let's see. Reverend Ron Bump, a friend of our family, you're here. Please stand up. And thanks for coming tonight as well. And then last but certainly not least, my lovely wife, Andrea. I love you. Thanks for being here. So, uh, anyway, I'd like to thank the selection committee again and uh, this, the faculty and staff at Peru State. You guys are doing a wonderful job, as I have told you before, and uh, it's just great to see Peru flourish like this. So um, really, thank you all for spending your Friday night with us. I know there's a lot of other things going on in life. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.